Hey guys, welcome to another Thursday edition of the Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. My name is Nick, and uh, this week I'm going to talk about something that uh, was kind of a thing when, at least when I was growing up, with like BMG and Columbia House. But uh, today, in today's new age, it's it's a little different. But uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, about uh, music services or record clubs or whatever you want to call them. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click on the link below and go check out the uh, the Vinyl Den Facebook group. Um, you know, just a kind of a great place to you know talk about music. And actually, we were talking about these subscription services uh, just recently, actually. So go ahead and check that out. Make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel, give the episode the thumbs up, and uh, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we release a new episode. So for anyone that grew up in the you know, say 70s, 80s, and all the way through the 90s, you know, those, like I said, Columbia House, BMG, there was like those big, two really big music services where you're able to get records and, and cassettes and CDs uh, through the mail every month. And, uh, you know, as I think a lot of those companies, well, those two really kind of faded out in the early-ish uh, 2000s, and it's kind of led us to kind of where we are now. And for the last, probably the last year or two, I've been looking at a bunch of different music services, and I just didn't know which one I wanted to go with. And uh, and like so there's a ton of them out there. I know the big one is uh, Vinyl Me Please, which you know it's pretty it's pretty pricey. They've got a bunch of great uh, releases on there. And I know if you're a big rap and hip hop fan, they're really one of the only ones out there that has a really big selection of that genre of music. Um, you know, so I think that's kind of why it's popular with a lot of people, uh, just kind of a broad range of music that they offer through their, through their service. You know, but for me, it, I don't, I didn't, I didn't want to get locked into a really long contract. And like I said, they've got, uh, I think, um, Vinyl Me Please does like a three month or a 12 month program. I don't know if they do a six month, but I didn't even want to do like a, a three month. I, I, I just kind of wanted to try something out. Um, so I, like I said, I kind of started going through a lot of these, like I said, there's vinyl, we please, um, vinyl was another one I was looking for, I was looking at it's vinyl, uh, without the eye in it. And that's kind of a really interesting service they do. It's, it's uh, $15 a month for a single LP or it's uh $39 a month for three. And it seems like they've got a lot of really popular titles that they do. So that was another one I was kind of going back and forth on, um, you know, of course, one of the other really big popular ones is the Third Man Vault, uh, Third Man Records. You know, they do all the Jack White, Bla um, White Stripes and all the other stuff. I, I guess they do a lot more than that also. Uh, Third Man Records does a bunch of different pressings. They actually, if you go to the, if you go to the Third Man Records in either Nashville or the one in Detroit, they've got a whole wide range of, of music that they offer through uh, Third Man Records. But I think the Vault is generally white stripes related kind of uh, music but they do it's quarterly it's 65 bucks which actually isn't a bad deal if you really think about it because it's um which i didn't know this till recently that you get 75 percent off title the title hi-fi service um with the third man subscription so that's kind of a, a bonus that uh, i'd kind of looked at with that one Another service I had looked at is one called uh, Flying Vinyl. I think that's what it's, yeah, Flying Vinyl, which is interesting because it's it's based in the UK. And it's not terribly expensive. It's uh, thirty bucks a month, but it's uh, it's all seven inch albums that they that they do, which I kind of go back and forth on. I don't really have a big uh, seven inch collection. Uh, I guess I'm just kind of a lazy music listener. I don't like flipping my records over that much. So I decided to pass on that one. Uh, there's another one that I was, uh, I didn't really know about until recently. We were talking about it on the, uh, the uh, Facebook group is a service called secretly society. Um, it's 20 bucks a month. It looks like they get a bunch of really good releases through that one also. Um, so I may try that one out in the future cause it's not terribly expensive. Like I said, 20 bucks. And then another one that uh, I'll probably end up doing next is one that's called Black Box. And they've got a ton of really good releases. Black Box is kind of interesting because I guess a couple of the other ones do the same thing. I know, I think vinyl does. Where it, Black Box takes your uh, Spotify account or your Discogs account and kind of picks selections from what you already have on there or your, or your listening habits. 
Uh, so that's kind of an interesting way to do it. I don't use Spotify. I use Apple Music. But uh, I could at least uh, link it to my Discogs and, and get something good that way. But uh, I was on their Facebook page, and Black Box looks like they've got a really a bunch of really good releases. The 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 thing that I, the issue I had with with a lot of these is you couldn't really look at the the releases before you selected and paid for a plan. And I uh, I guess that's another reason why I didn't really want to get locked into a, a long term, even like a three month agreement. Was I just didn't know? I guess I'm kind of picky when it comes to my music, even though I do love a lot of different. Uh, a, a lot of different genres of music. I'm kind of picky about some of the stuff I want to buy. So I guess I just wanted to see what their offers were before I kind of settled on one. So the one I settled on was uh, Bandbox. If you're a fan of uh, Channel 33 RPM, I know Frank just did a video not too long, on, on, uh, long ago on Bandbox. And I think that's where I uh, first uh, heard of them uh, on there. And um, I was really kind of interested to, to see what they offered. I went on their website and you kind of browse through all the different titles that they have that you can select. And it's, uh, I got a discount code also uh, that I used. So I ended up getting the, my first month for like 23 bucks, which is really good for some of the albums that are on there. And the one album that really kind of stood out to me was uh backspacer by Pearl jam. I'm a big Pearl jam fan and uh backspacer is an album that, um, has gotten harder to find. And generally when I see it online, it's normally $45 or more. So to, to get this for 23 bucks, I thought was a steal. I couldn't pass it up. So, but there's also a couple of other Pearl Jam title releases I want to get on there. Uh, altogether, I'd say there's probably another maybe five to seven releases. So if they don't really add anything else onto the website, I'll at least hold on to the, the band box uh, subscription, at least for a couple of months to get those. We'll see, like I said, if they don't add anything else to it, I might move on and try black box or one of those other services. One of the things I was really impressed with, with the band box, uh, was the, uh, was the, like the magazine that it comes with. And this is actually pretty sweet. Uh, it's got a bunch of different, uh, like pictures and stories in there of the band you get with each band that's offered through the service. They've got a different, uh, magazine that it comes with but it's, it's pretty cool uh it's not really big i'd say maybe 10 or 15 pages but uh just like i said cool pictures of the band throughout the years and just other information um i just thought that was a neat kind of touch uh to a service like i said that wasn't really expensive well that's all i got for you this week guys thanks for checking the show out drop me a comment down below and let me know if you use any of these services or or if there's another service that i missed out on that uh that i should be checking out um, cause like I said, it's, it's kind of interesting, you know, I, I'm, I'm always looking to kind of broaden my musical horizons and, uh, I think a service like, like these different ones, especially the ones that like take your discogs or your Spotify account and kind of build selections off that, I think is a great way to kind of, like, like I said, uh, introduce yourselves to new and different music. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys do. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me the thumbs up. Uh, hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and uh, that's all I got. Until next time, keep on spinning. Peace. Peace.